More late than never, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that sort of thing can really stir your emotions. It does. Yeah. All right, well, we have some beautiful weather out there. This is, this is a fascinating mm. time lapse. Uh, this is Redfish Lake, and as I put this into motion, notice that mist. It's a little fog that developed right over the lake, and as the sun came up, the temperatures warmed up. So let's put this into motion and watch the process of this fog burning off. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, all of a sudden, it burns off once the temperature got above the dew point, and it was just a gorgeous day up in those mountains, and it was gorgeous here in the Treasure Valley as well. Now, the temperature readings have been right around 80 degrees, and here's what your weather headlines are looking like. Lots of sunshine is in the forecast, plain and simple, through the weekend and possibly for the next five to seven days, along with a very slow warming trend. So today, I was expecting temperature readings to get up to right around 84, 85 degrees. Degrees. It's tomorrow when we've always been expecting the temperature readings to finally get back up to near 90 degrees. Why has it been so mild and so pleasant? Look at the flow. Most of the shower activity that we have right now in the west is taking place across Canada and working its way down into Montana and into the Dakotas. Notice how nice and dry the air is upstream for us here across the gem state. So the high temperature so far today, 80 degrees. I think it's going to get a touch warmer than that by the end of the day. 91 degrees is the average, and there's the record for the state, 110 degrees set back in 2002. Very hot temperature readings for this time of the year. So the dominant weather feature right now that's impacting us and what will continue to impact us for quite some time is that the jet stream has shifted way up to the north. So this is where the storm track goes. And as long as this is way up to the north, it puts us under the influence of this nice, dry, warm air mass that's coming in from the Pacific Ocean. It's extremely stable as it moves on through. And that's why we're seeing almost a void of cloud cover. And that's why we've got lots of sunshine in the forecast for the next five to seven days. So computer models confirming through the day tomorrow, not just in the Treasure Valley, but all across the state going into Oregon, going into Washington. That is very dry air. Now let's advance this and take you to Friday. And notice on Friday, virtually no change as that very pleasant air mass continues to move in from the Pacific Ocean. So if you get that nice, stable Pacific air, boy, it's like a guarantee for sunshine here in the Treasure Valley and throughout the state. So temperatures tomorrow should top out at 90 degrees. Then a weak front brushes by to the north. All it does is it'll take our temperatures down just a few degrees between Friday and Saturday, but that's still spectacular. With sunshine through the weekend and high temperatures near 90 degrees, couldn't ask for a nicer July pattern. The mountains are gonna be seeing a high temperature tomorrow of 78 degrees down to 75 and 74 on Friday and Saturday, but still very nice with tons of sunshine expected up in the mountains for the next five to seven days as well. Perfect. Very you can nice. thank me in November. <laughs> okay. I thought for a second he was going to say <laughs> you can thank me in 10s and 20s, but yeah. thankfully he didn't yeah. say that. Turning now to your health link.